All right, let's flash back to last year's world championship in Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. And this is my place. And this is my place in Wisconsin. Hardhouse. Tackett needed two strikes to win in the 10th. Got both. To drop Jason Belmonte, 254, 247. It was his fourth major and his fifth win on the tour. Both of those adding up to PBA Player of the Year honors. A win today, and Tackett is thrust right back into that player of the year conversation. Bill O'Neill, Kyle Troop, Tackett telling us the one thing I need is a major to get myself in that conversation. Oh, no, lately. I'm filming. I'm filming. Oh, my God. Of the seven pin for Send that one down. Attack it will take a seat and let Russo close out. Three as good as one you throw on that lead. If Russo does not strike here, he's in big trouble. Russo is in big trouble if he does not get at least these next two strikes. How likely hand over EJ the hand EJ the title, and the EJ will have his fifth major and his third world championship. Oh, wow. Matt Russo can do. He only needs. Best he can do is get eight, force EJ to get six. Six pins. To yet another major. And maybe a path to another player of the year title. My man. He wins this. He's in that conversation, right? I think he goes to the top of the list over O'Neill, over Troop. Yes, he'll have two titles, one major being one of those, but he has seven telecasts. How big is that TOC going to be uh, next week? Yeah. In Akron, Hall of Fame dinner on Friday, PBA Elite League on Saturday, TOC on Sunday. Well, it's over. Seven, ten, doesn't matter. He's done it. Five majors. Winner. I mean, it's 197 with a spare strike for Russo. If Tackett throws two gutter balls, it's 197. So you're saying there's a chance. No. There's no chance. <laughs> DJ Tackett's winning his fifth major. What a road. You know, like ignore my father. He's watching the Phillies game out in the living room. EJ climbed from the number four seed. Trip, there they are, watch 
Coming up next, NASCAR 